What is going on guys and welcome back to the Young and Intelligent Money Investing channel. Today, with this big market downturn that we are experiencing right now, let's talk about what to do when this sort of thing happens, when there's a big sell-off, like what has happened in the last week. So, in the last week, we just experienced the worst week in the market in the last two years. And I'm going to go into a couple of reasons why that is and then a couple of game plan ideas of what you guys can do about it to protect your portfolio. So I'm going to cover these up so we can focus on what we were talking about. But as you guys can see, let's look at the S&P, or more importantly the Dow over the last week, down 4%, and which has really cut into our profits for the month. Obviously it's been an incredible year in the markets, incredible last year and a half, and really last ever since the uh, last recession, it, the market's been up and up and up. So I'm going to go through a few strategies of why I think you know, they're gonna, what is going to protect your portfolio in the long run during these downturns? So, what I think this downturn is from is basically a sell-off and then a little bit of caution over the current government situation in the U.S. right now. I don't think it's going to be a big problem in the long term, and I think really people are just a little bit hesitant to keep buying into these stocks at such high prices and with the Dow and the S&P at such all-time levels. There are a couple percent of a sell-off is kind of a natural thing. We'll see if it keeps going down or it, if the uh, market keeps pumping back up. We will see. But my first strategy is what I'm going to do. My biggest plan is absolutely nothing to, during this market downturn. So my plan, I'm a long-term investor and I don't think that timing the market is going to get me anywhere just because I, I'm not an expert. Most people aren't experts. If, you, if somebody had the perfect ability to time the market, they'd be the richest person in the world. All they'd have to do is buy and sell at the peaks and or sell at the peaks and buy in the valleys. So I don't think there's any way for you to actually time the market. So my, my suggestion would be if you don't have extra money to put in is just don't do anything. Don't keep, keep focus more on your income than your investments. If you're investing in the S&P 500, if you're invested in stuff you're confident in in the long run, then it shouldn't be a problem. And if you really, if nothing's changed in the company and it's gone down a few prices, it might be a buying opportunity. And we'll talk about that later. Number two, so this is more of trying to time the market. But if you are, one of the sayings is that if you're not, if you wouldn't buy the stock where at the price it's at, then maybe it's time to sell. So if you think your stock price is overvalued, then maybe it's time to sell. And then you can buy back in at a price you're comfortable with. This personally isn't a strategy for me, but it's one that a lot of people have had a lot of success with. And this is more trying to time the markets. And some people do have a little bit of success with this. You're not going to get it 100% of the time. You might be a couple percent off. Like it might run up like two more percent when you sell, and it might, and when you buy back in, it could drop a couple more percent. So you're not, you're probably not going to time it perfectly. But if you do, it's a great trade, and you're going to make some money off of that. Number three, short stocks. So when you think a market downturn is coming, it might be time to short some shares. And in Robinhood, you can't short stocks directly, but you can use something like TQQ, which is an ETF. Oh, no, sorry, not TQQ, SQQ. SQQQ. This is the ultra short. So this is up 6% in, in uh, just, <laughs> just today. It's a three times inverse exposure ETF. So you're going to do three times the opposite of what the QQQ ETF does. So, which is really interesting. Obviously, it's going to be down a ton in the long run, but there's definitely some trades that can be made when you think the QQQ stocks are overvalued, and there's plenty of other short ETFs that will give you reverse leverage against the major indexes. So, fourthly, buy more. When If you like a, sh a share of a stock at whatever price it was at before the downturn, you're probably going to love it after a few percent of a sell-off. So when the S &P, if you want to buy into the S&P 500 maybe, like a VOO, wow, this is just, you're just getting it on discount right now. So it's really an opportunity to put more money into the market. And that's really when you want to be buying. You don't want to be buying at the all-time highs. You want to be buying when there's a little bit of a dip and it's a buying opportunity to get in and have some potential to run up in the short term. And lastly, so this one's really important, but when there's a recession coming, or if you think there is one, maybe there's some major signs in the market that's going to take a downturn, you're going to want to invest in recession-proof stocks. So essentially in a recession, people are going to separate their needs from their wants. So they're not going to be buying, going and buying out luxury items and stuff they don't really need, but they're going to be buying cheaper stuff, so like Costco, like McDonald's, those are going to be big stocks when there's a market downturn and people are tight on cash. So... 
Hope this helped you guys out a little bit. That is all I've got for you today. If you couldn't tell, I'm pretty sick right now, so I didn't get a video out yesterday. I'm going to try and get out as many as I can in the future, and I'm hoping I feel better soon. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.